Bodybuilders are often perceived by society as brutes of muscle with little actual intelligence. However, there are quite a few people throughout the years who have disproven this myth in ways that revolutionize the way we train. In this video, I'll go over some of the bodybuilders who I believe are some of the smartest to ever compete in the Mr. Olympia competition. If you like this style of content, let me know. Now on to the video. Uh, but with my training methods, which stress short, brief, intense workouts, as opposed to the marathon type workouts most bodybuilders engage in of several hours a day, I can go to school, get my training in three times a week and still get my studying done. If you've ever read an old school article about training intensity, you might have heard the name Mike Menser before. Born on November 15th in 1951 in Pennsylvania, Michael John Menser had a profound impact on the bodybuilding community and has left marks which affect the way we train today. He burst onto the bodybuilding scene in the 1970s, capturing the attention of both fans and fellow athletes with his incredible physique and showmanship. But but what put him aside from his fellow competitors was that Menser possessed a very unique approach to training. Contrary to what most bodybuilders do, which is train two to four hours a day, seven days a week, to obtain that condition I trained literally for 30 minutes four times a week, two hours a week. You see, at the time, most bodybuilders and athletes in general were under the impression that training had to be long and the duration should be anywhere from three to six hours every single day and focus mostly on a single muscle group at a time. Arnold Schwarzenegger himself was particularly known for training even multiple times a day, starting with cardio early in the morning and a long, grueling strength training session afterwards. But Mike Menser had a different idea. The more intensely you do something, whenever the intensity increases a little bit, the duration has to decrease a lot. And if you want to build big muscles fast, and you've got to train as intensely as possible. Mike, similarly with other bodybuilding legends such as Dorian Yates and Chris Cormier, was a big fan of high intensity training. And when I say high intensity, I'm not referring to the standard 2 to 3 reps in reserve, but during every single set of every single session that Mike did as a professional bodybuilder, he had one goal, and that was to push past the limits of failure and then some more. Although at first glance his programming may seem basic, he would only train twice or maybe even once a week, allowing for maximal rest in between training sessions. Never train more than four days a week, and in some cases even four days out of every seven days is too much training. Quoted by Mike Menser himself, he said, My goal was to stimulate muscle growth, not annihilate it. I realized that quality and not quantity was key. By training with maximal intensity and focusing on proper form, I was able to achieve remarkable results with fewer sets and reps. Now, Menser's training philosophy was based on the principle of stimulating muscle growth through very brief but intense workouts and that was the best approach. He believed in training every single muscle group past failure where the muscles couldn't perform another rep with proper form and to the extent that you needed to utilize partial repetitions in order to move the weight. This approach, according to himself, allowed for maximal muscle stimulation while reducing the risk of overtraining, which he claimed was very prevalent amongst his fellow bodybuilders. Additionally, Mike, in contrast to many of his fellow competitors, was very well educated on the human body. As he was a pre-med student focusing primarily on the sciences of genetics, physical chemistry and organic chemistry, with the goal of becoming a psychiatrist. Building an exceptional physique isn't just about training hard, it's about giving your body the tools it needs to recover and grow. Sleep, nutrition and of course proper supplementation played a vital role in Mike's bodybuilding success. However, there was another man who had this approach to training as well, although with an extra emphasis placed on intensity. <laughs> 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 Commonly known as the Quad Father, Tom Platz is a well-known name in the fitness community and one that is often feared by bodybuilders. Although, just like Mike Menser, Tom never won a single Mr. Olympia, but he arguably had some of the best legs in history and his training approach was and still is very similar to that of Mike, although he takes it way further in terms of intensity. Although Platz was never really known for utilizing science-based principles, his training approach is currently being taught in some academies for personal training, and his strength training seminars uphold the highest of standard and are quite well known in the bodybuilding world. As Tom, let's just say he puts pressure on your pedals. 
Most notably, he wasn't just all show, but he also demonstrated some incredible leg strength, as shown in this video where he squatted 525 pounds for 23 reps while weighing just below 200 pounds himself. Although he was wearing a squat suit at the time of this particular strength feat, it goes to show that his training methods were a step above their time. Notably, Tom Plath still presents some crazy leg gains even today at age 67, and he claims that his training strategy of going beyond failure on his leg days every two weeks should receive praise for his incredible longevity. Speaking of longevity, another man who still looks incredible to this day is three-time Mr. Olympia winner Frank Zane. And similarly to Mike Menser, Zane was also a very well-educated bodybuilder, having two different bachelor degrees and a master's in experimental psychology, while also being a mathematician and a chemistry teacher. Known as the chemist, Zane was also ahead of his era in bodybuilding when it came to his nutritional, and let's call it the supplemental, contribution. Zane was also one of the first bodybuilders to experiment with supplements and nutritional supplements especially, such as BCAAs, specific vitamins and other substances which could theoretically aid with recovery and muscle protein synthesis, on top of utilizing of course performance enhancing drugs like most others at the time. Although Frank was a three time Mr. Olympia, he is arguably the healthiest man to ever win the competition, while weighing only in between 180 and 190 pounds on stage. A massive contrast to today's bodybuilders. This meant that his supplementation dosages and the strain he put on his body throughout his career were much smaller than that of many of his competitors, leaving him with a very long and healthy career and adulthood. But one thing you may not have realized while watching this video is that Mike Menzer, Tom Platz, and Frank Zane all had one thing in common besides being quite revolutionary in their approaches to training and nutrition. They were all simultaneously beaten by one fellow smart man during the 1980 Mr. Olympia in a very controversial setting, namely Arnold Schwarzenegger. But that is a topic for another time. Who do you think is the smartest bodybuilder to ever exist? If you like this video and want to see more like it, leave a like, maybe a comment, it really helps the channel grow, and of course it boosts the algorithm so that this video will get shown to more people. And hey, maybe even subscribe if you want to, it's free and you can always change your mind later. Make sure you check out my primary sponsors over at Prosys for supplements and Young LA for clothing. Both will be found in the description alongside a discount code you can use on both to save yourself some cash. Finally, if you want to be coached by me and receive monthly training and diet plans structured and tailored to your individual needs, head over to my website at backeyecoaching.com. I'll see you all next time.